Yo, how's everybody doing to my first sports video? We've got Tennessee Titans versus the Buccaneers. Yeah, bro, I got Defensively, he had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because to me, you can't mm -hmm. pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. It was Kenny Vaccaro there to get a hand on that one. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feel. Are you fucking kidding me? Like that, they might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think uh, they come in bunches. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And oh, it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. Carlton Davis picks it. Can't go easy. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. So after the INT, it's Brady. And Shit. that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. On second down, here's Fournette. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Throwing is Brady on third down. This will complete to Scott Miller. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. They'll go with Jones. First down, there we go, there we go. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. 
The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Shotgun now for Brady. This is caught by Antonio Brown. Well, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there at 20 yards. Now a first down carry by Jones. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. We're scoreless after one. Right. With no score. Second quarter is too good. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they are looking at a second and five situation. <laughs> now nah, we go. Oh, we'll play. We'll play. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's <laughs> I, I don't even play Madden that much, to be honest. The defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. From the gun on third down, Brady. He gets it to Brown, good play. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he ah. is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Oh, what the? Oh, God. Complete there. Evans, once again, the intended receiver. Oh, now it's third down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's yeah, another goodness. example, another incompletion. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis <laughs> on it because idea. third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. Ready to throw again. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Yeah, yeah, it's Jeffrey it Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Well, this yeah, is a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Look at him move the ball well. We need to. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown. The big back Leonard Fournette able to push his way in from the yard out. His guys are well, this guy can get a field goal this time. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, <laughs> it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination. And they got it done on the second try. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no return okay. here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. In a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And it's a there and what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off game man get all the way back for a touchdown so they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six and now the kick is away fielded near the back of the end zone and no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25 
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is... And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's Devin Wright, the linebacker. It's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a bucket of TD. That's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that I'll help you out a little bit. The point where you're wondering if it is over already. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Second quarter onside. Could be a little bit closer to the end zone. That's something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started. It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also, it may signal that they feel like they have the superior team. That they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down, Titans gain of 12. First down, Titans. Derrick Henry. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left him no space to try and run. A really nice job right, swarming right. to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Ooh, let's see here. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. On second and nine, Tannehill over the middle. Nice first down. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 24-yard line. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. First down, it's Tannehill. He'll get this one complete to Davis. Nice catch. A gain of six there on first. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Dancing that he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. <laughs> JPP cruising in for the sack that time. Two scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes. Gotta kick this go, man. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. On fourth down, here's Steven Goskowski for the Tennessee field goal. This from 44 yards away. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. But hang on, a flag is down. Now, if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. <laughs> you could have. You could have. Steven Goskowski set to kick off. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. On the return, it's Kenyon Barner. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. On the return, the Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. To throw is Brady. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. 
Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. set to begin the drive and tough to win games if you're going field goal field goal field goal here they got field goal last time now they'll be looking for a touchdown we're looking for the big chunk now because as you noted the field goal field goal field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder puts more pressure on every possession for you now i have no idea six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in bigger chunks we'll see if they can get the score brings up second and seven three yards on that last carry here's second and seven Take this up near the 35, oh, yeah. maybe the third, 34. Third one. Okay. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And it's third down. <laughs> they'll try to run for the first with Henry. Nice first down. Before that time as the drive continues. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. They will find Davis. Damn. It's complete. Tannehill. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally... That his pass is intercepted for the third time today. Football. will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. Oh, not the player. Really upset not on their the team. The defense already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. Yeah, Brady's throw there incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Nah, I don't want to take that It's not a ringtone. Second and ten now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. Fournette on the counter. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight ah, yards ah. There. And that was a good run, and it should get the attention of the defense, but it can't just dwell on it. They've been playing so well this entire game. Maybe they just look at it and say, okay, congratulations, you got one on us, and just not let it turn into more. down as he's brought down up near midfield. There we go. There Drive we go. He's alive. A third down gain of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and oh. making it work. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. He goes full extension, and he's got it. 
I forgot the heat when he came back. With the protection, you have to have it to give your quarterback time to let routes develop downfield. And then it's on him to locate an open man, and he does just that. Play callers love four vertical routes because receivers can be open at any time downfield, often for big gains. A little bit, a little bit there. It'll bring up second down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is inside. <laughs> Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a three-yard game. Hmm. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. <laughs> Chris Godwin, there to make the grab as the Buccaneers tack on their lead. They went five wide in that offensive set, and racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, oh wide, shit! The they finish things off. <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom zoom indeed. So with the miss PAT in his rear view mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head and what i mean by that is just what you said you've gone over the changes i bet they were pretty clinical at the half not too emotional they might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something some spark somewhere and so far just being calm hasn't exactly worked they need any spark at this point on second and nine Tannehill, and that is incomplete Bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers oh, shit. on the Fourth field quarter. as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Oh, come on, grab the damn ball. Come on, man. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run. It's Henry. Oh, I'm fucking hitting my own person. Okay. Run. They finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Oh, no nice reason play. not nice to play. try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and ten just outside the 30. Henry. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second okay. and four. No, that play nice. wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Tannehill. And it was. Another interception. Carlton Davis picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And I'm starting to wonder, Charlie, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game. Tennessee Titans about to find them a new quarterback. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Jones. And they'll get him down up past 
past the 15. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> we got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, okay. trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. From the gun on third down, Brady. He's got Evans. And they work this right up field across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. Hunter, I have to tell you, just one really more keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. That was starting to look like this drive that may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. On first down, Jones. Oh. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Uh, that GG, is man. GG. As they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. That seemed to be linebacker. And thanks guys so much for watching. Until my next video, I'll see you guys next time. As we're taking those former safeties, those yeah!